In this video, I'm going to show you how the erosion node works. I right click, select create node, simulation, and I find the node I want. Here are the default results. The blue areas represent places where water flows and affects our terrain. I can hide this information simply by unchecking show water in the parameters dialog. Let's take a look at presets. The first three, light, medium, and strong, simulate more or less standard erosion. Mostly erosion impacts the erosion on the terrain, while deposition will mainly promote sediment input. If I take any one of these presets and modify a parameter, I automatically switch to custom mode. Let's see those parameters in more detail. Strength modifies globally the volume of water brought by the simulation. Erosion, as we saw, directly modifies the impact of this volume on the terrain. Deposition creates a sediment deposit in places where the slope is lower. And hardness is used to define the nature of the soil. Let's see how this node works on a larger terrain. Here, once again, I look for the erosion node. I uncheck the impact of water on my terrain. And I begin playing with the presets. We can see that on a 1024 by 1024 terrain, the changes are immediate. Now let's see the parameters again. The way you will change your parameters depends largely on the geographic area you're trying to represent, on the amount of rainfall or the hardness of the rock that composes it. Here in this example, I simply adjust the parameters to get a result that I like. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for the next tutorial.